welcome back to my channel everyone. Today we are doing the spooky Pennywise the clown. Turning myself into this clown. I hope no one's scared of it. I'm not. I think he's cute and I love the way they did his makeup in this movie. So first I primed my face with my primerizer from Smashbox and then I'm taking my washable glue stick, hiding my brows. I've done this a million times guys. Just make sure you coat the brows, lay it down with a spoolie, go over the glue with, with the glue a couple more times and then set them after they've dried. You want to wait a good two to three minutes and then set the brows with a translucent setting powder. I prefer the Laura Mercier setting powder. That's just my personal favorite. Then I am priming my lids with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. Prime them babies good. We're doing lots of shadow on them today. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my base. I'm using the Makeup Forever Flash Paints in white. I'm doing quite a bit of this because it's a clown and he's got a very white face. So do a couple drops of my Kat Von D foundation and then blending it all in with my oval brush. I also take this down my neck, and as you'll see here in a couple of minutes, I do it on my chest as well. And make sure you cover those brows that we did as well, and make sure you get the white on the lids a little bit. I go back over the brows with an extra coat of the white paint just to make sure they're fully covered. Taking my Morphe 35C palette, I am using the light gray and the darker gray, mixing them together, and then I'm putting that in my crease and above it. The eye looks pretty messy, so it doesn't need to be perfect, but I'm doing a super winged eyeshadow look, taking it all the way out to my temple from the inner corner of my eye all the way out. I wanted this to be a female type of version of Pennywise, so that's why I'm doing the winged type of shadow to make it a little bit more feminine. Taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean, I am using a brush and I'm packing this on my lid. This just gives for a great black base for the black shadow to stick to so it's a lot more deep. And it's not so sheer because we want a true black shade on our eyes. And I am also winging this out a bit. Taking it above my crease also. Using my Shade and Light Kat Von D palette. I am using the black in this palette to pack on top of the pencil we just put down. And I'm packing, not swiping. And I'm also taking it into the crease a little bit. And then I'll be using the first brush to really blend that all together. And when I say I take the shadow all the way out to my temple, I mean it, guys. Not exaggerating. Then I'm just kind of dabbing it around the eyes to make it look a little bit more messy. Don't want it to be perfect. I mean, it's, it's an e evil clown, so it doesn't need to be perfect and beautiful. Line your waterline with a black pencil. You can go below it on the lash line as well because we're going to really be smoking the bottom lash line out a lot. Taking from the inner corner to the outer corner. Then take your black shadow and just start going to town, really. And then I use the first brush as well to just kind of blend it out a little bit more so it's kind of softened. Taking my Mayron Paradise Paint in Beachberry, it is a true red in my opinion, and also using my SFX brushes from Bedellium Tools. It's a brush set, so make sure you go check them out. I do have a discount code for these brushes down in the description box. Before I start using those, I do decide though to kind of start doing my brows a little bit. He does have a little bit of some brow action going on, so I'm really just kind of like lightly outlining my brow shape with a black shadow, and then I decide to go ahead and contour a little bit. I'm just using the gray and black shades that we use for our eyes. It's all mixed together, basically. Now I'm starting on the red stripes he has on his face. So I do the ones above my eyes first, and then I do another layer of white paint on my face. I'm kind of all over the place with this look, and I apologize, but that's just how my artistic creativity is. 
Go ahead and make your chest white. I took it down my arms a little bit. If you're doing a full costume for this, I'm sure you'll have something covering your arms and your chest, but for this I was doing the female version and I'm just painting myself, so I did take it down my arms a little bit. And I created an outline for a cute little corset type of top. Then I'm blending it out with a bigger fluffy brush, and then I start painting in that corset top with a white paint as well. Using the super thin brush from Bodellium Tools, I'm going to make this little frilly fuzzy thing in the middle. This is inspired from Venom to Ya Veins on Instagram. So go make sure you check her out because she's amazing. And I got the little corset idea from her because she did a cute Pennywise look. It's so amazing. Taking this kind of taupey brown shade and the light gray shade, mix them together. And I'm going to use that to shade in that top to make sure it looks like a real piece of clothing. So I'm just lightly doing it above those lines and blending it into my skin. Then I take a black shadow and go right up along that shirt and blend that into the taupey colors. Creating some little lines with the same shades on the corset to make it look a little bit more like a corset or a clown top. Then I'm outlining the top in a very fine line of black paint with the little tiny Bedellium Tools brush. Nothing too thick, like I said, a very fine line. Then I go next to those lines I created on the corset with some black paint and I start creating some cleavage. I do a light shade and then I go right up next to that cleavage lines that I created with a black shade to create some, make it look like they're pushed up, you know? I put on my little clown collar, and now I'm going to go ahead and do my lips. I'm using my LA Splash Cosmetics Wickedly Divine Liquid Lipstick in Ursula. It's just a bright red, and I'm kind of making the points on my cupid's bow a little bit more prominent and making my bottom lips very round. I'm just trying to replicate his smile or his lips that he has in the movie. Using the same paint, I'm connecting the lips with underneath of the eyes to create the little swivels he has on his face. So I kind of go outwards a little bit and around my cheek piercing. If you don't have piercings, just do that on your face. But I use my piercings as a, bit, as a bit of a guide. And I went over those lines about two or three times. And for this, I used my paint, not my lipstick. Do your little clown nose. I decided to go for more of a straight type of nose and not super round. And then I did some black shadow on it to shade it a little bit as well. And then I did the little crackling that he has on his forehead. So I'm just using a black and gray shadow very lightly and just kind of creating kind of like the roots to a tree or like lightning bolts, but very random and sporadic all over my forehead. The less shadow you have, the better as well. Don't do a very pigmented shade. Just really lightly do these lines. Then I took some black paint and just kind of went over in some areas like above those shaded lines I did to create some dimension and use my finger to tap it out so it wasn't so black. After that, I did apply some lashes since we are a female Pennywise. Why not? I did some very dramatic ones. And then I finished the brows. I just did a very thin line below my natural brow. Like super thin and light. I then put on my clown gloves that I got from Party City. They're just white gloves. I also got the collar from Party City. And that's that, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was so much fun to do. Like I always say, I have fun with every look I do. And I had to debut this earlier than Halloween because Pennywise was a hit when it came out. So all the artists were creating this, and I had to share mine. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you're, make sure you're subscribed. And I'll catch y'all next time.